Hello and welcome to Dory CCTV. In today's video we will show you how to set up ease of ease. DB2 Pro Video Doorbell. Let's get started. In previous video we showed unboxing the doorbell. In order to install the main unit, you need to use the flat bracket. First we are going to turn on the video doorbell. By pressing the power button. Then you will see the blue light flashing. Next we are going to plug and chime into power plug and make it ready. It normally takes few minutes for chime to be ready to use. As you can see the light flashing in red. Now we are going to show you the flat bracket first. You can slide the bracket in and there is an arrow on the bracket to show you the correct side of the bracket. You can place the bracket on the doorbell and slide it in. In order to remove the bracket you can use the pin which was in the packaging. Easily push the pin in the hole underneath of the doorbell. And remove it as you can see in the video. If you like to use angle bracket. First you need to install the angle bracket on the wall and then attach the flat bracket into angle bracket by using the screws that is provided in the box. As you can see the flat bracket sit nicely on the angle bracket. Just trying the second bracket and it's the same as other bracket. If you like to use double sided tape you can stick it on the flat bracket like this. Okay let's move on to set up the doorbell. You can see now the chime flashing light turn into blue color. That means the device is ready to be added. First we need the QR code that is on the user manual inside the box. I am sharing my phone screen to show you how we can add the device. First we need to download the Ease of Ease mobile app. Then you need to create an account and log in into your account. I just skipped that part and logged in into the app. You can create an account and log in. Once you are logged in, click on plus icon, top right hand corner. Then select video doorbell. And scan the QR code on the user manual. First confirm if the doorbell powered on. Next page is about how to connect your device into internet, so you can click on next. On this page you need to make sure the chime is flashing in blue color. If not hold the reset button down on the chime for 10 seconds. OK here is important, you need to make sure to connect your phone internet into 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Most of the internet router have two Wi-Fi options 2.4 and 5 GHz. If this option is not available you need to contact your internet provider and ask them how to enable 2.4 GHz. Once your phone Wi-Fi is connected into 2.4, you can go back to the app and click on Enable. Now the device will be connected to the internet. This process might take few minutes so please be patient. If you get error message, you can reset the chime and start the process again. There we go. When you see this page it means device has been added successfully. Now you can set up the date and time. EZV's offering cloud recording service which is free for 30 days. After that you can subscribe and with a low fees, record the video safely into the cloud server. If you don't need this service you can untick the box here and go to the next page. On this page you can set up a new password. Please make sure to remember the password as for security reason Easyvees cannot remove or reset the password. 
password should contain 8 to 16 characters. Also you need to use lowercase letters, uppercase letters, digits, or symbols. Once you typed in the password click on have modified. Then click OK. There we go. Set up succeed. On this page you can add mechanical or electronic chime. If you are using the chime in the box, you can select none above. As we already added different devices, the new device go at the end of the list here. If the device showing offline, don't worry. Normally first time it takes a little bit longer for the device to be connected into the internet. What you can do is close the app and reopen it again. Then the device should be online and ready to use. After reopening the app, the device is connected and ready to use. Now I am going to remove the plastic cover from the camera lens and show you the video quality of this doorbell. Because we moved the doorbell, PIR alarm triggered and send a notification. Quality is really good and clear. You can easily see all surrounding area of your front door, or where you installed this doorbell. Now I am going to put it back and we can go through the settings of the device. Also do a test when it's ringing. I am going to enable, do not disturb on my phone while I am showing you the settings. Let's check the intelligent detection. As a default PIR infrared detection is enabled. You can change that to human detection and change the sensitivity. In advanced detection you can enable loitering detection. If someone loitering around your house longer than the time you adjusted. The alarm on the device will be triggered. Next setting is about notification. We have audible notification settings. Next one is temper notification. On back of the main unit there is a temper button. When you install the doorbell unit into the bracket. The temper button will be on the arm mode. If someone try to remove the doorbell. The doorbell make alarm sound and you will receive a mobile app notification. We will show you a video later of how it works. From next option you can change message notification settings. And the last option is answer doorbell call. As a default is enabled but if you wish not to receive the notification on your app. You can disable it. Next settings is audio. You can disable doorbell sound. Change the chime ringtone. And last option you can disable audio on the doorbell from live view and recording. The next settings is image. Here you can change the day and night mode. Or turn off the IR mode. In the light settings you can turn off doorbell or chime indicator. Next one is speaker settings. We already saw this page where you can add mechanical or electronic chime into this doorbell. Last option here is the battery level. Next part. In general settings. You can check the cloud storage or SD memory card status. If you have SD card or cloud storage set up, you can check the playback from next option which is. Record list. In security settings you can disable video encryption password. That means if you re-add the device into a new account you don't need to type in the device password again. We skip the device information and go to share the device. If you like to share your device into a friend or family members. First they need to create an account in EasyVs app then you can type in their email address. Please note the shared device may not have full control as the main account. And some features may not be available. From all event page you can check all the activity that happen in the doorbell. And from video history, you can check all the recorded video. This is a test for temper button. Once the doorbell bracket is installed the temper button stay on arm mode. As soon as someone try to remove it it will trigger the alarm. And also send you a notification on your mobile app. You can silent the alarm by turning the device off from the power button.
and this is test of how video doorbell works. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please share your feedback with us. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.